During my 22 years in the Coast Guard, I served on six different Coast Guard cutters. And uh, I did my uh, Coast Guard uh, tour after I did three years in the Army. And uh, on these six, six different Coast Guard cutters, the living conditions was, was, was similar in some ways, but different in others because as I progressed you know, through, the, uh, through the rank structure, of course, the living conditions got a little better. But uh, uh, in uh, 1986, I was stationed on the Coast Guard Cutter Sumac, which was a, uh, a river tender, WLR 311 out of St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, we had, uh, it was a 14 or 16 man berthing all the way back aft on the main deck. And uh, we were uh, two racks high. And we had a head in the back, uh, right behind the berthing area that had uh, two sinks, two toilets, two showers. And, uh, you know, I remember the toilets, there being no divider. So when you were sitting, you know, uh, doing your, doing your business, you were right there next to your buddy. And uh, so that was kind of unusual, but I'll put a picture in right now. And there's a, of our birthing area on the sumac. Uh, and the, uh, one, one of the MK threes, uh, is in, is in the picture. And you can see it's typical of the racks that you'll see, you know, uh, uh, in, in uh, a lot of my, the, the, the ships that I'm going to show you in that they, we call them coffin racks in that it was a box and the lid actually, you know, uh, the top where the mattress is, uh, hinged out and then you stored all your, uh, belongings below it. And then you just hinged it back, hinged it back down. And then you slept on the top and the bottom racks, we would call it, uh, tr they would, uh, during, uh, the morning pipe for uh, cleanups, they would say trice up the racks. So what you do is the bottom racks, you actually hinge the whole thing hinged up and then there was a strap to hold it up so you could sweep underneath it and mop underneath it. So here's a picture of uh, the, the uh, sumacs, uh, the sumac and the sumac uh, racks. And then uh, I, just to th throw in a comparison, I'll throw in a picture here of uh, when I was at uh, Yorktown uh, Machinery Technician A School in 1987. And this is a picture of, uh, there was a four man room. And of course, uh, you know, you could smoke in them back then. <laughs> so, uh, but it was just, a, you know, it, it wasn't like the birthing conditions got too much better. It was a, you know, wooden uh, uh, bunk bed and uh, with, with a metal locker. So I'll just throw a picture in there right now of, of that. And then after Yorktown, I went to the Coast Guard Cutter Seneca out of Boston, Massachusetts, which was a 270 foot uh, medium endurance cutter. And I was on there from 87 to 1990. Uh, and I lived in engineering nine man berthing, which was one deck below the main deck. And uh, engineering 21 man berthing was uh, on, the, on the main deck. And we, and I'm gonna post a video of actually of, of this berthing area. You see, we lived, it was three high racks and I was on the, uh, the middle top rack. And then uh, we had another compartment, which was, we had stand up lockers and then it was an attached head that uh, had two sinks one toilet and uh, one shower. And then right off uh, of that uh, birthing area was our uh, little rec deck. And you could, you could smoke on the, the Seneca, just not on the, in the birthing areas, but you could smoke in the rec deck, uh, on the mess deck, uh, uh, and not during meal areas. So, uh, it, it, you know, it, it was nice, uh, Nice accommodations on there in nine man, better than up in, uh, in, in 21 man. And most of the birthing areas on uh, Seneca for the junior enlisted were, were 21 man birthing. So I got a little lucky there. And so I'll put a picture in right now of, of Seneca's birthing area, the video.
locker space. Then from uh, there, I went to the, I made uh, Chief Petty Officer E7, and I was assigned to Coast Guard Cutter Tampa, which was ex ex a sister ship of Seneca. It was a 270-foot medium endurance cutter stationed out of Portsmouth, Virginia, and I was on there from 1995 to 1997. And this is where, you know, birthing conditions got a lot better. I was uh, uh, back, all the way back aft on the main deck. The Chiefs had uh, four two-man staterooms, and they were on two different passageways, so two staterooms uh, shared ahead. And uh, so I lived uh, in a two-man stateroom, and there was a head at the end of the passageway that had uh, two sinks, a, uh, a toilet, and a shower. So that was that was pretty nice. And we had our own chief's mess, which was a small little compartment, but you know it was our little uh, where we we ate and uh, and lounged. And uh, so here's a picture of my rack top rack on uh, Coast Guard Cutter Tampa. And then from there on 1998, I did a three month uh, temporary assigned duty tour on Coast Guard Cutter Eagle out of New London, Connecticut. And uh, uh, on that tour, we sailed down to Puerto Rico and then all the way up the East Coast up in to uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then back down to New London. And uh, there were several permanent party chiefs stationed on Eagle all the time. And then there was a, a TAD chiefs would come on board whenever she did a, a sailing. And it, uh, I stayed in the, I, I was an E8 at the time, a senior chief, a machinery technician, and I stayed in a six-man berthing. And then we had an, uh, with a head attached to that, so there was six six uh, racks, and then a, a one sink, one toilet, one shower head, and uh, then the birthing area. And I'll post that right now. And then attached to that, we had our chief's mess, uh, which was a little lounge area and a uh, uh, an eating area. And I'll post a picture right now of that. And for there was a little, there was another birthing area across the passageway for overflow for any any more chiefs than we had than six. So uh, it, it was kind of tight, but it was an you know it was interesting sailing on the Eagle. That was that was a unique experience uh, being under sail. Uh, from uh, there, I went to Coast Guard Cutter Sherman, which was a 378 foot uh, high endurance cutter out of Alameda, California, and I was on there from 1999 to 2001. And when I first, uh, the birthing areas uh, were uh, one deck above the main deck, up forward. Uh, and uh, on Eagle, they are actually right uh, forward. And the foremast, as you could see if you look in that picture of the head, it, the foremast actually comes right, you know, almost uh, right through the, the head there. But uh, back to Sherman, uh, when I first got on there in 1999, I was in a, a four, four man chief stateroom. There was three four-man staterooms, and then a two-man stateroom. And when I first got on there, I was in a, an E8, uh, Senior Chief Machinery Technician, and uh, I was in a four-man stateroom. And I, I have a video of that, and I'll post it right now. See, oh yeah, here's my my rack. 
from other books. And in my locker for my dirty laundry. It's a little room. Canon Dentist Day and, and of course we have the the head the sink toilet the shower. That's it. And then from there, uh, uh, the, uh, I went over just right across the passageway to the two-man stateroom, and myself and the uh, electrician mate, uh, senior chief, uh, were roommates. And then I was in there for the remainder of my tour. And uh, I'll post a, a picture of that. That's my, my roommate's rack. This is my rack with my little, my lounge chair. Where's my clothes? You know, my rack, I got my TV and my N64 there. This is our sink. And then, go right back here and this is our, our locker. This is my buddy's locker, our little Dell. This is a, inside of my locker. Oops, they open locker. So that's that. And then of course we have the, the bathroom in here. With the shower. And of course. <laughs> okay. Then from uh, Sherman, I took a commission as an officer in 2003 and uh, received orders to the Coast Guard Cutter Dependable, which was a 210 foot medium endurance cutter uh, out of Cape May, New Jersey. And uh, I lived in a two man officer stateroom, which was one deck below the main deck. And uh, we had our own toilet, shower, and sink. And you'll see in the, and uh, I lived on the, uh, top rack and my roommate lived on the bottom rack and we had our own desk and uh, uh, locker locker space and it was, uh, it was really nice. Uh, probably the best uh, con living conditions I had had was that stateroom was nice and roomy. And uh, you'll see in the video when I'm going down into it, I'm going through a scuttle and that was usually, usually that whole hatch was open when we were in port but once we got underway that, that hatch was down and you had to you know get down there through the scuttle. And when you come down the ladder you'll see you're looking right into the EO stateroom, which was the lieutenant, and then our stateroom was over on the, uh, the port side. So I'll put that video in right now. Jack track, Jack stuff. <laughs> well, that was it. That's uh, the the, the uh, six cutters I was on in the the different burden areas, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.